Apple versus Scrapple. Who you got? Which do you prefer? What do you like the most? Uh, go vote in our Instagram poll. I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Scrapple. It's like choosing your children. I, I, I <laughs> guess I guess I would be more team Apple, but if it's too hard to pick between the two, then we have an event just for you. And yes, as a matter of fact, we are talking about the Apple Scrapple Festival. It's back. Going to be better than ever, but you don't have to take it from us. You can take it from this one right here. This is the festival's <laughs> executive chair. This is Karen Johnson. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having me. So let me ask you right off the top. How does it feel to be putting together the Apple Scrapple Festival again? <laughs> it was a, a difficult hiatus. Yeah. Um, so a year and a half off, it's hard to get back in the flow of it, but I'm cruising through and I'm almost to the finish line. Yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, you're still being careful, right? Absolutely. And that is what we want everyone to know, that we have expanded the food court area. You know, we're notorious for our lines. Those food lines, they're worth it oh, in the yes. end. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. They're worth it. But you are going to have to spread out a little bit, and we've spread out our food court, and so we've made those adjustments all to help with those lines. The main thing that people need to know is that for us to follow the guidelines uh, set forth by the CDC, people have to wear masks on the buses, and we truly hope that everybody understands that, right. and they want to remain safe, and they want to support our festival, which supports our community. Yes. So we're just asking for everybody's cooperation on the buses. So you're highlighting the apple, and you're highlighting the scrapple, but there's other delicacies involved here. Oh, absolutely, and you know that. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Our food court is a little bit, you know, we, we got a little bit of a history there, and between the oyster fritters uh -huh. and the scrapple sandwiches, uh -huh the apple dumplings, uh -huh. but we've got Haas's coming with their Scrapple sausage, which I think everybody needs to try at least once. But you know, and then you have all of your favorites, you know, the hamburgers, the hot dogs, and you know, the Italian sausage, which is one of my favorites. You know, there is something for everyone. And then we can't forget our ice cream. You know, we have got ice cream on every corner. You know, we've got our little Vanderwind's ice cream, you got mm -hmm, Frozen mm -hmm. Farmer, you have them mm -hmm. all. So pick one, pick two, enjoy the whole day. Mm -hmm. Have all the ice cream. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, so uh, uh, tell me about the recipe contest. I imagine you get some creative entries. Well, Rapa Scrapple puts on a Scrapple recipe contest every year, and it is filled with just the most creative recipes that you can think of. And you can do some fun and amazing things with Scrapple, and I don't think people understand that or recognize it. But you can, you can work with it in many different ways, and um, between the pierogies, the egg rolls, the hand sandwich, hand pies, uh, the hashes, and of course, Scrapple waffles. If you haven't tried them, you have to do it. Yeah, you have to try it at least once in your life. It is completely worth it because some of us like mushy Scrapple, just fried, crisp. Some of us like it thin, and a waffle Scrapple is for everyone. If she keeps talking food, I'm never going to get through this interview. No. So uh, this is really a celebration of agribusiness on Del Mar Bay, isn't it? It truly is. In Bridgeville, we are surrounded by all of our farmers. We're surrounded by our farmers markets, and just a lot of different agribusinesses are based out of Bridgeville. And we celebrate them and what they bring to our community, which is a lot of jobs and just the wonder of what Western Sussex County is. When you drive through Western Sussex County, you get to see what the beauty is of the Eastern Shore. Yeah. And we highlight that and we celebrate it. All right, so if you wanna go, where and when? Bridgeville, Delaware. We <laughs> all know we are in Bridgeville, Delaware. And as you can see on the artwork this year, we are saying thank you to all of the first responders that have given back. Uh, Friday is, of course, October the 8th, and that is from 4 to 10. And that has our opening ceremony, Little Miss Apple Scrapple pageant. The food court is open. The carnival is open. So it's kind of like a fun evening in Bridgeville. Then Saturday, we fill the streets. And we have. We have over 300 vendors between in the middle school and on the streets. Saturday, October October the 9th, we are there from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m., and we invite you out. If you have never been before, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. But we do want to say thank you so much to Karen Johnson, the Apple Scrapple Whiz, who puts it all together. I'm thank doing you. my best. Thank you. Just amazing that way. Thanks for talking to us.